How's it going everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So today we have the full tank tactical kit bag and some Hill People gear kit, recon kit bags. And we're gonna be discussing the differences between the two. Now I have used both of these kits very heavily and I'm trying to give you some information on why you may want to buy one or the other depending on what you need. Now, again, I've been using the Hill People gear um, recon kit bags for almost a decade now. And then the full tank tactical kit bag for almost two years now, two to two years, I think it is. And both have some notable differences to them. So first off, I am not sponsored by either of these um, uh, pro companies at all. I, I don't get any money from it. I get to say whatever I want because this is agenda free. So if something is bad, I will say it's bad. If something is good, then I will say it's good. That's just what you get with this channel. There you are. Go hit like, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. But diving into these two, they do roughly the same thing in essence. They are a kit bag that goes on your chest and is specifically really made for carrying a concealed handgun, right? For maybe other bears or other wildlife or even other bipedal creatures out there, right? To keep yourself safe and to put your gear up front especially when you're wearing a backpack when you wear a backpack with straps and a waist belt where do you typically put a pistol it limits you significantly so back in 2014 and 2015 that's why i gravitated to the hill people gear um recon kit bags and i use them a lot like i have a lot of b-roll of me using this because at the time that was the only thing that you could get and it worked and I have abused this kit very heavily. I mean, there's like to the point that there's like burn marks from fires and it's just all scuffed up and everything. I've gone caving in this stuff. I've gone all over, you know, different classes and stuff like that with these kits. And they have worked fairly well for what they do. But if you, but beyond that, if you try to upgrade these in any way, they start to not work. Now I get it, the original design of these Hill People gear was not to modular or to expand them. It was just one thing that just worked. It's really good at it. Stitching durability is amazing. That's where the full tank tactical kit bag comes in. It does everything the Hill People gear rig does, but they integrated the modularity piece to it, which is honestly why I have moved to it because I can scale down with the full tang tactical kit to do the same thing as the Hill People gear, but I can scale up to a wide variety of different things, as you see here, right? And I'm gonna list some of them that you can see. It still carries a pistol on the side and it still maintains other smaller items, you know, just compass, maps, you know, small survival kit, things like that. But the cool thing is the back is molly or it's a velcro hook and loop on the back and there's a pass through that's the difference that you don't get with this i actually before this product the full tank tactical even i knew about it or even came out i mod or made hook and loop on the back of my um hill people rigs because i wanted something more and there was nothing on the market i actually contacted hill people gear about this years ago several times said hey why don't you do this why don't you do this and they just at the time weren't interested nor do i think they are at this point in time it is what it is it's their own company but i said hey there's there's a opening for this in the market and I just so happened to find Full Tang Tactical and they did exactly what I was thinking of. They created a pass-through on the back that you can put rifle magazines or extra admin, or if you don't want anything, you can just remove it and run it slick. You can add things by the Velcro to the bottom, right? This is how I carry my water bottle and a full medical kit. These are all removable. If you don't want to use this, tear it off, it's gone go back to the same style as the Hill People gear rig, right? That is what I think a lot of people want too. They want that scalability. They want the possibility of maybe I'll add something to it, 
Well, you really can't with the Hill People gear rig. Now, they did put Molly on the front, but the problem is when you put stuff on the front, it starts to sag forward, which is Full Tank Tactical did the reverse. They put it in the back so that weight is closer to your body so it fits so much better. They also upgraded the straps so they are removable. You can put whatever straps that you prefer on here. Unbuckle it, it's gone, right? It can clip into other things. They added Molly on the sides. There's a lot of stuff that they did. Now, this is a singular, singular pouch design. Hill People Gear is a double, benefits to each. But again, you don't see me running Hill People Gear um, kit bags anymore. Not because they're bad products or not because they're bad, made bad. No, they're very well stitched, very well made. It's just the full tank tactical kit bag does more. It allows you to add things appropriately to it depending on what you're doing hiking hunting fly fishing you know minuteman kit if you need to i mean i have a video on that so you're by you're getting more of your money's worth out of it you are able to scale and move the full tank tactical kit bag to whatever you desire that you want it to do and it still allows you to have a backpack and waist straps around you so no matter what you're doing, you can have stuff up front. Again, I prefer the full tank tactical kit bag for the money, right? You're looking about 150, 180. This is the heavy for the Hill People gear rig. And I think 150 last time I checked for this, prices might've went up because of, you know, issues, which I'm not gonna dive into because I'll get demonetized. <laughs> Economy suffering. But, um, Full tank tactical kit bag, I think is about 180, 190. So yes, you're paying slightly a little more, but you're getting a lot more capability. That is just my opinion. Again, I'm not sponsored. I don't care if you buy 10,000 Hill People gears or whatever, or full tank tactical, or even other ones. Helicon Techs makes one, right? There's a couple others out on the market. I just prefer this because it works more in more different areas or significantly more areas in essence. So just my opinion, again, do whatever you want, spend your money however you want because it's your money or save your money however you want. This is just my opinion, my use of years of literally using this equipment and it has worked fairly well in the field and that is why I go to the full tank tactical kit bag and that's the differences reasonably between the two. A little more philosophy, less kind of use, but I'll show some, so, show some B-roll in there. So other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, we have PayPal, Patreon, stuff like that. We are over on Rumble because Rumble is a little more open to free speech. YouTube is really demonetizing me pretty heavily and shadow banning me, which I'm not even allowed to, or if I'm allowed to say that, but I've noticed a significant dip in a lot of stuff that I was commonly getting, including just money. And I didn't even make that much money off of YouTube, but. It made enough to keep this thing kind of afloat and now it's starting to taper off. So I don't know, could be just my quality. You guys just hate me, <laughs> could be, but I suspect it's probably YouTube. Other than that, hope you all have a great day.